there. We can actually roll it by hand. It's going to slide down. It's going to get, get, get. Hey, we got it off in one piece. Guys, welcome back to another episode of Atlas Survival Shelters. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Now, guys, who hasn't ever fantasized about having a gun room? You walk through it and you see all them guns hanging on the wall and you can see them and touch them and feel them and smell them. Well, you know what? I usually stick all my guns in a gun safe, as most people do. But at some point, you get enough guns and you want a bigger gun room. So you know what I'm going to do in today's video? I'm going to build a gun room for a guy and I'm going to put one of those on it. One of those Fort Knox gun vaults. Almost the same color and the same detail as that one. But you're going to love this video. Now, I want to say something. Today's video is going to feature a few products that are sponsored on my website. So if you guys haven't ever seen my website, go to Atlas Survival Shelters. Click on where it says sponsors in the upper right hand corner and then scroll down. There's like almost a hundred sponsors on there that are people who stand behind me and I believe in their products and if it's there, there's a link to their website and if it's listed there guys, I believe in their products. So give them a call, buy direct from them. I don't make a penny off of it. I'm just showing you who I use, but I'm going to do a video today on a couple of them. One, of course, Fort Knox Gun Vaults and the other one, the Gallo Shelving System which is the one you're seeing on the wall right now with all the guns. Pretty cool, huh? So guys, I hope to sit back and enjoy this video because I know you're going to like it. I'll see you at the end. All right, it's Tuesday, December 1st, 2020. And here we are building a gun vault. What we're doing is we're getting a corner to corner. You don't want it sunk in. It looks like a V right there, so when he welds it, it's a really smooth weld when you do a gun vault like this. So this is the gun bunker I'm making for a guy today. It's actually a gun room. It's not even a bunker. It's not even going underground. It's just going to be a 10 foot by 12 foot gun room that he's going to slide into his barn and then I guess anchor to the ground and uh, it will have shells in it you know because he saw that video that you saw but uh, this one we're doing today December 1st 2020 Now that's going to be the framing for the Fort Knox vault door right there. See how thick that is? It's super heavy duty. Three by eight tubing. And they're putting the shelves in there. I'm going to start putting the shelves in there right now. But uh, we'll have it fitted by the end of the day. We'll have it welded out uh, hopefully by tomorrow. And we'll start grinding, doing some spray primer, some sanding. Get it painted. We'll put on the Fort Knox door here. Photograph it, video it, take it off, then we'll send it to you. put a square tubing on the wall sometimes it goes up and down other times it goes sideways but um, that's how you mount gun shelving to the wall or if you want to screw anything because you can't you don't want to screw through the wall you can tech screw into the square tubing and that's how we do it looks like they kind of over welded it it's only a walk-in gun room but they welded it inside and out all right so we're getting the uh the gun room that's going out for um Got to get cleaned up and sprayed back in the paint booth. All right, take it on, guys. All right, so this is the Fort Knox uh, vault. So when you ship a Fort Knox vault to your house, this is how it comes. I mean, it is heavy duty. It weighs 1,500 pounds. Move it around, you're going to have to have a forklift, but uh, that is one hell of a crate, isn't it? But that's Fort Knox for you guys. Best gun vaults you can get. So we got the 
Fort Knox vault door in. Wow, that thing is heavy duty looking. God, but it weighs 1,500 pounds. And this is adjustable. You see this? This is like a clamp. It's a clam type clamp. So you got these adjustable screws right here. So you can clamp it down on your frame. So in this case, we made it um, eight inches thick. I, I believe that's eight inches right there. So this will go from seven inches to nine inches. Inside the doors on the inside there's adjustment bolts that you're gonna have to put in that allows you to square the door in the opening so there's four of them okay two on the tops and then two down on the bottoms and that way you can square your door in your house if you're putting this on a brick opening or concrete opening or a wood frame opening okay now this is a little gun safe that one of my employees made on his spare time. So I'm gonna video it cause it looks like he did a pretty good job. Now he made it all out of AR 500. So it's got quarter inch AR 500. So one of those Diablo blades won't cut through it, but he's gonna store his gunpowder in here. He said, here's my great employee that's making the, uh, the little gun vault. You see, we're closed out. He's been doing this after hours. Hey, wait a minute. How, how do you lock this thing? Take that off. Let me say, so you take one of those locks. Yep. Okay. Put it on the peg. Slide the key in. Yeah. Slide the lock. Shut. Turn the key. Pull the key in. Okay. Well, wow. well, that turned out really nice. Ain't nobody gonna get in there either. Huh. I like it. Turned out really good. I'm proud of you. Yeah. Wow. Well, Merry Christmas. I know he's making it for me for a Christmas gift, right? Yeah, I'll make you one. <laughs> sucking some gas but boy that gun door that gun vault door sure looks good on there doesn't it hey guys i hope you're enjoying the channel hey listen if you want to support my channel and support yourself you better store up some of this freeze-dried food go to my drop page you can see it right there shelterwithatlas.com discounts already built in enjoy the food they got mountain house emergency essentials all the supplies you need check them out back to the video Can 
out, you roll it by hand. It's gonna slide down, it's gonna, it's going, yeah. Get, get, get. Hey, we got it off in one piece. hand by yourself. Let's just see what happens when you push on it. It's not moving? Hell no. <laughs> okay. All right. We'll grab the forklift. We'll move it in with the forklift. It already unlocked beautiful Fort Knox vault open it up and look at that they put in a nice flooring in here you got the emergency essentials food stored away you got to have your survival food these shells will hold your 50 count cans and this is why I'm making them out of quarter inch thick steel because those suckers are heavy those are like 50 pounds a piece and uh, if I don't do them out of thick steel, the shells will bend from that much ammo up there. But the gallon shelving system is really cool. All these do is they kind of pop in and they hold the guns. So this little set right here is one of their packages that they sell. Now there's a link to gallo shelving on my website, but you can actually take these off, you pop them off and you can move them wherever you want. Then they just pop back down. Super easy. Just take it off, put it back on there like this, pop it down. So if you've never seen the gallo shelving system, it's really, really cool. This is inside the, uh, the gun room. And that's that Fort Knox door. Now it's got an emergency release handle right here that you open this up. And if you pull this right here and it's locked, that will release the door. So you're not gonna get locked in your own gun vault. They went ahead and ran some electrical. He put an outlet in here, he put the light in. He uh, just drilled a hole through the side over here. Just ran his cord right through there. And he has a dehumidifier running in here full time. How cool is this? And these are only $19,999 plus the cost of the vault door. So if you guys are thinking about doing one of these gun rooms like this, and this one is 10 feet wide, 12 feet long, it has eight foot ceilings, it has all the shelving built into the wall, which gives it more strength as well. You're gonna have about, say, $25,000 in it with the, uh, with the door. So I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. 
Hey, as always, make sure you like and subscribe, share this video if you found it cool, and give me a call at the number shown on the screen, one 4 bunker if you want to get one of these gumballs for yourself. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Hey, listen, if you were wondering what this is, this is that night vision from Sightmark. This is only like $499. Listen, if you got to take out the predators or the enemies at night, check these things out. It is the least expensive night vision scope that I found that I like, okay? And you know what? He who owns the night wins the battle. So guys, as always, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Like, subscribe, share, and do all those cool things that make me feel good and make you come back to my channel. And hit that indicator bell because I heard some of you guys weren't getting noticed when my videos came out. But guys, as always, I love you. I'll see you on the next video.